Hello, okay, let's get started. Okay, so this first video is a haul video from a lady called Hani. I think that's how I pronounce her name. I did ask her earlier how I pronounce her name and she's uh, left it to me to wonder, not answered my message. So I think it's Hani. It's spelled H-A-J-N-I and it's Hungarian for morning glory. So yes, Hani, I looked up your name to find out what it meant and to find out how to bloody say it. So I think it's Harney and it's, yeah, Hungarian. Anyway, Harney used to work for, work for, used to run a company called Mianra Soap. So she was a soap maker and had beautiful, beautiful products. And she's just been snapped up by another company to work for them, which is a really good move because now she's got a really good salary apparently. She's really happy doing what she's doing and she's just about to formulate soap for this company. So that's really, really cool. I've forgotten what they're called. And my phone isn't nearby. So if I remember, I'll leave a link to them below so you can check out who she's working for now. So if you're familiar with Mianra Soap, you'll know who I'm talking about. Okay, so she sent me a box of, un well, fragrance oils that she's got left over from her soap making days and there's quite a lot she sent me a huge box with um well it's a big dhl box from ireland and there's some scents in here that i've got just to the side of me i'm just going to go through them like stream through really fast because um i'm just checking on the focus we haven't got long because it's like half four and i've got two batches of soap to make after this as well and film so i'm going to just stream through them all and we'll just have a quick sniff and a quick first impression if there's some things in there that I've never tried before. So first up we have, so there's Nature's Garden, there's Brambleberry, there's Grace Fruit here in the UK, there's quite a lot of different, well not a lot of different ones, there's just a few different brands. So the first one is Crackling Birch by Nature's Garden. It's lovely. I've used this like in a blend that I use at Christmas time and I mix it with crackling log fire, a whiskey fragrance, frankincense and myrrh essential oils and this is lovely. So if you're looking for a good winter scent that men will like, crackling birch is a go-to. So I'd try that for sure. Okay, next up we've got ginger aura. So some of these she's used and some of them are full bottles. So it's just, there's all sorts here. So ginger aura by Nature's Garden. The weird thing, I would never pick this up if I was shopping at Nature's Garden, it's not something I'd probably just go straight past it. And she's like probably the same for quite a few of these. This one smells exactly like ginger essential oil. It's got that weird edge to it. It's like gingery and pungent, but it's like got a slightly strange, very, very natural herbal scent. So I'm not a huge fan of ginger oil, but this is actually all right. I probably would prefer like a CO2 oil or something like that rather than like essential oil because every time I've bought ginger it's nice when I use it in the bath mixed with something else but it needs for me something to sort of lift it and make it zing a bit more you know but that's a good scent if you're looking for a ginger and you don't want to use essential oils so that'd be cheaper probably this nature's garden prices are amazing okay next up is Baltic Amber this is by Scent Perfique and I use this fragrance in a blend as well so this one I already am familiar with it's lovely it smells exactly as an amber should smell to me it does it's got like woody sweet powdery musky and yeah very ambery it's very very nice so if you want to order from Saint Perfique definitely try Baltic Amber it's beautiful and it's a really good blender so I'd mix it with like orange and things like that it's good with patchouli you know the next one we have is Nature's Garden Loving Spell, which again, I've never tried. Is that Victoria's Secret Love Spell? It is, I think. I watch enough ASMR videos of the girls who use, use Victoria's Secret. I'm sure it's that. So. Okay, that's weird. Out of the bottle, it smells like old men's barbershops. I'm sorry, it just does. But I can tell that probably soaked, it would smell really, really nice. It's like, first whiff you get, and it's like, oh, that's that's nice. That's like, sort of like an uplifting scent. And then the more you, <laughs> the more you sniff, you get like this, like there's a barber's opposite my shop and it smells like that. So I'll have to soap it and maybe like, Jesus. <sighs> 
see how we go. I'll do it on video so we can see how I get on with that one. But yeah, out the bottle. Phew. I don't like that. Pink sugar type. This is Nature's Garden again. I like pink sugar. I've used pink sugar. Not myself as in like I've used it in soap. I've used a bar of soap by somebody who used pink sugar. And I really like it. It's very patchouli and sweet and powdery and again musky. I do like that. I really do. And I like the blue sugar as well. But I never buy them and I never use them. But So that's, that's a good thing. Okay, next is Nature's Garden Hot Cocoa. Let's have a look. Oh, that's good. It's got almost like a slight hint of perm solution. But... I shouldn't have said that because now that's all I can smell. Let me come away a minute. Okay, it's very milky, it's chocolatey, it's like a deep dark cocoa and in soap I would imagine this is lovely. So also it might be good as a scrub or like a whip soap or something like that. So that would be interesting to try. I do like chocolate scents if they're good. The next one I've got is now this baffled me when I got it out of the box. I don't know what this is. It's, it says Lush Luxury Fragrance. So I don't know if this is supposed to be a Lush dupe. So let's have a sniff. Oh, that's really, really good, but I don't know what it is. Oh my God. Okay, there's a, there's a product by Molten Brown. And they make these bath salts. Well, they used to. They've just continued now, but they... Two minutes. <laughs> so Lisa's just giving me some chocolates, I think that's nice of her. Okay, so where was I? Yeah, Molten Brown do this, they used to do these bath salts in it in an aluminium jar called CMOS, and it was one of my favourite, favourite products ever. And I used to buy them a lot and they'd like make the water sort of green and they contain algae and they were just beautiful and they stopped doing them, as always happens in my life. But this smells just like it. I'm going to have to find out what this is from Harney because I've no idea. But it's ju it just says Fragrance Oils International Limited. Now from Manchester and it's called Lush Luxury Fragrance. There's no other name on there. Okay. Next up is Relaxing by Brambleberry. And there's about three quarters of a bottle left here. Ooh. Oh God. Okay, if you're a child who grew up in the 80s, which I am, I was born in 73. Yes, I'm 46. And I grew up in the 80s and in the beauty salons, it kind of smelled like this. Everything was peach and pastel and pink and, you know, 80s. But this smells like, that's just taking me back somewhere to like a, you know, like a beauty salon. Hmm. It's kind of nice. Makes sense that it's relaxing, I guess. Okay, where are we? Let's go. Grace fruit, mimosa and cardamom. I think I've received this as a sample with an order recently. It's got like a thing in it, so I can't get it out, but I can smell it. Okay, this is a really nice soft floral with a very, very, very small hint of that cardamom, but not a lot. It's a nice, subtle fragrance, Mimosa and Cardamom. I'm sure you can get that in other brands. I'm not sure, but maybe you can. Okay, what are we going for next? Let's go for Nature's Garden Black Raspberry and Vanilla. You all know what this smells like. If you're soap makers, you know. It's not something I ever pick up, and it's not something that I've ever soaped, but ah, it smells bloody lovely, and I think it soaps really well because every soap I've ever had in this scent has been a lovely bar of soap. So I'm looking forward to using this. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know if it discolours because I have no idea. But that's lovely. But it's something that I would never ever buy. But I've got a big 16 ounce bottle there. So I'll be trying that one. Okay, let's move on to Brambleberry Plumeria. And she sent me, look at the size of this like huge to this one. Oh god. Okay, that's beautiful. That's like a that's like a typical beautiful white floral. I think a plumeria is white or pink or 
Anyway, it's really, 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 really good. And I've got a huge bottle, so I'm chuffed to bits. I just need to find out if it accelerates or anything like that. That is, that is really good. I like that one. Okay, we have another Brambleberry big bottle. This is Indian sandalwood. I'm starting to feel a bit sick now. I'm getting through these. It's not good for you, is it? Sniff, sniff, sniff in these. Okay. Okay, it smells a bit soapy. Oh, I'll tell you what that smells like. Have any of you tried the Bangalore soap? It comes in like a green and red little box and it's like an Indian soap that you can buy for like a pound. You probably get it for a dollar in the States. And like Indian stores sell it and every now and again, I think I found it in places like TK Maxx and things like that. It smells like that. So Matt will be chuffed because it's one of his favourite, favourite soaps. It's not like exactly the same but it's got a hint of that weird sandalwood that they use I don't know what they use in India but it's odd but it's it's one of those scents that is just like very familiar okay peppermint patty by nature's garden I know this scent very well and it's one of the best mint chocolate scents you will find so if you're looking for one try nature's garden this is not sponsored <laughs> yeah it's lovely it smells just like oh, my mouth water it smells just like um, after eight minutes really good Okay, we're nearly at the end. Coconut Lime Verbena. Though this is a scent I have never, ever tried in my life. And everybody, when I started making soap, would make this. Everybody. Everybody. Okay, so. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I think I've had soaps from, like, swaps that's been made with this. So it's like a citrusy, lemony, limey. I don't really get any coconut, but... It's a good scent and I do like that. So I should try it because I wanted to put like a lemon scent in my Christmas range, like a soap, because when I get people in the shop, excuse me, a lot of them really like lemons. I think it's just one of those universal fragrances that most people go for. So that'll be good to try. This one here, again, I'm very, very familiar with and I use it a lot and it's the nag champa from nature's garden which is the best nag champa you will find if you're looking for one you must try this oh god it's so good it's exactly the same as the satya sai baba incense so i've tried a lot of nag champas and nothing nothing comes close to this it's the best i have ever tried and there's no need to try anyone else's ever again because that's the best Okay, Nature's Garden Happy type. So this is Clinique Happy, I'm guessing. Yep, it's very, um, it's like a uh, citrusy, sweet, and kind of plain, you know? It's a nice smell, nice for spring probably, when all this hoo-ha of Christmas is out the way. Christmas, we're not even at through Halloween yet, but you know what I mean. After the season is over, you want something just sort of like fresh, clean. This would be a good one for that kind of thing. Next up, I have got Honey Wash. This is a dupe for Luscious Honey Eye Wash for Kids. Oh, here we go. And it's by Grace Fruit, and this is a really good one. It smells more powdery and... Yeah, more powdery than the Lush one, but it is a good dupe. It does smell pretty much like it, but... Not quite the same, but it is good. So if you're looking for a honey wash, yeah, honey I wash the kids, honey wash by Grace Fruit. I used to use it years ago. I haven't used it for a long time. Okay, so next up we've got a bit left in this bottle from Brambleberry is dark rich chocolate. So let's see what this one's like. Jesus, it smells like almonds and Okay, I can tell that's going to be something that make you feel like you're high. <sighs> okay. It's good. It's kind of chocolatey, but very, very almondy for some reason. Like a chocolate almond. It's nice, but <coughs> one of those that catches in the back of your throat and makes your head feel like you just took some mushrooms or something. Okay. Last but not least, Vanilla Forest by Brambleberry. Let's see if they can redeem themselves after that dark chocolate. 
vanilla fries there's only a little bit left it's a little bottle so this would probably be good as a whip soap because i don't use much in those products so vanilla forest oh that's good okay this is very masculine it's like a very woody vanilla that exactly yeah vanilla forest it's very yeah that's like a greenish woody vanilla i really like that very 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 nice i like that one okay so my favorite i think probably the plumeria i really really like that uh well it's all that lush one because it's like the it's not lush i don't know what that is but it's like that molten brown scent which i adore so yeah thank you thank you harney if you're watching this video um i was totally overwhelmed i had to message her and just say oh my god what have you done because i sent her a box of soaps and bits and pieces in the box and I was not expecting the amount that I got. So the deal is that when I've made a load of stuff with these, I'm going to send her a load of stuff for Christmas. So I can sort of make up for what she sent because it must have cost a fortune. The box is like, you know. So that's my little haul. And next I am making soap. Um, what am I doing? Gordon Russell Design Museum have a bespoke soap from me called Plain and Saw. So I'll film that one and then I'm going to make Snowdrift really, really quickly after that, which I won't film. I don't think I will because... Um, I've made it so many times before. So, I'm going to turn this off and I'll be back in a second to do cedar. Mm. It's like a two cedars, two cedar essential oils and then a balsam and cedar fragrance. So I'll be back to do that one. I won't be back in a second because this video will go up and then that one will come after. So it'll be a few days. Okay, just.